What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel Powerful Reactions and today we're gonna welcome all together the one and only, and I can definitely say that, Emma Koch. Now Emma is a Dutch performer born in 2008 and she was most known and still is most known by winning the 10th season of The Voice Kids 2023. Her performance together with the one and only Andre Rieu of the song Voila, voila, yes, exactly that one went through the roof. It became a viral hit. Of course, we did our review to this and now I cannot wait to be back with her. I mean, it's not just because at this point we have many performers, many singers that are pretty young, you know, and are very talented now more than ever because we just see them more than ever. They have the platform and the opportunities again more than ever. However, there's always a thin line between a person, and it doesn't matter if you're young, if you're old, if you're mid-age, no matter female, male, no matter what it is, there's always a thin line between somebody who's just amazingly well in adapting to a certain style or a person that is doing that, but also capturing your attention by using, I mean, not just by using, but just being themselves, but having that magical, you know, magical side to it. And she is definitely one of them. I mean, the performance of Voila, people were crying, people were... They were done, you know, everybody was concentrated like that, maybe even like this. You need to really check out that performance if you haven't. So now it's time to be back with her. She just performed this song uh, four weeks ago, Hallelujah, at Max Kerr's concert. It's going to be a five minute video, of course, Hallelujah. We all know this song. However, as I said earlier, she might really take the song and rip, produce it, recreate it, and take it to the next level. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. With your help, we will reach 150,000 subscribers. You are the best. Thank you so much. I really mean this, especially right now. You, most of you are right now probably in the Netherlands watching. Thank you, everyone. It's time for, exactly, Emma singing hallelujah. Let's go. All right, everyone, and here we go already. Okay. I mean, what a what an amazing orchestra right away, huh? So far, she really performed with outstanding musicians. All right. I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Well, it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor, so smooth. Falls, the major lift, the perfect king, composing. Hallelujah. All right, before the very legendary chorus kicks in, let's pause it right here. What is really interesting with her performances is actually the fact that she's really somehow not taking away from the core message and the core sound and actually creates a rather subtle singing style. However, it just goes boom, right into your soul, right into your heart. I understand why everybody really is feeling those songs. When she performs those songs, she's giving all those tracks a different life form. It really is that way. And again, we can do this with many things, not just singing, guitar playing. Man, some people say, wow, he's speaking through his guitar. You know, when you have a very, very talented and very soulful guitar player. Same thing with drumming. Even with drumming, there's always a different layer to it that really distinguishes you as a singer or as a musician from other musicians. There is something that nobody can copy. No matter how many times you practice a certain instrument, you know, there has to be this individual um, yeah, touch to it. And she has it to an extreme level that I've never seen before. All right, so let's continue. Hallelujah. Right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Here we go.
It's also so refreshing to see a, again, younger performer not being super full of themselves when it comes to their performance, not just singing wise, but you know how it is, unfortunately, especially back in the day, the Disney Club, where we had Christina Aguilera, uh, Britney Spears, I think Justin Timberlake and a few others. Somehow it just didn't seem correct when you saw a 10 year old girl or guy perform certain songs. There was something off when it came to their manners on stage. You know, they were performing literally like little small adults, which obviously, if we make a bit of research, we will find out that most of the times it's also because the parents were pressuring the kids to perform a certain way or to have success. That is something that I realize is a bit different nowadays. I mean, at least the performance that we review, uh, many of them, you get a way more relaxed, a more natural a vibe from them. Very important, very, very important when it comes to especially young performers to not have the big, big pressure from the parents. So I like to see her just being her, you know, and not being like, yeah, just creating a different role that obviously they are not. Hallelujah. Yes. This was 25th of December Christmas, beautiful. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Everyone at home now. Wow. I mean, that just really goes under your skin. I'm having goosebumps the whole time. I think you as well. I want to be honest right now, normally I'm not a fan of this song, but she really packaged it in a perfect way. Wow. Oh, there you go. Bam. Look at this. And just being natural and very humble. Love that. All right, everyone. That was Emma Koch with Hallelujah at the Max Kerr's concert. And that was outstanding. I think I've said almost everything throughout the video. It's just really, really refreshing. And I think the biggest point, two points, two major points. Number one, the way she's singing is just so sincere. It really is. And it speaks to you on a different level, which again, everybody can try to sing pretty well. Sometimes you don't even have to be the best singer to somehow speak to someone. Why singing or hit a nerve, if you know what I mean. And number two, of course, her definitely being a refreshing 
new young artists compared to especially the artists that we have known growing up in the 80s and 90s that were again just it just looked weird and it looked very forced with her you don't get that vibe at all i mean i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure i am not because she just gives you that natural vibe and natural feel that she really wants to be here be singing doing this because she likes to do this and there's nobody saying you know what you should record you should do this because maybe then you will be famous that's how it used to be a lot of times back in the day probably still is but i saw a clear shift in the last five to ten years and i think it's pretty healthy and pretty good that way thank you very much let me know what you think of this let me know what songs by her i should react to next yes until then stay safe take care make sure to subscribe please if you like this video subscribe if you haven't liked this video you can also subscribe and then you you're gonna be like ha i don't like this video but i subscribe so thank you everyone give this video a thumbs up see you next time take care bye bye